The most important piece of accountability around estimating within our system is that my first accountability is to my team to tell them we will never punish you here for missing an estimate. It's a critical piece of accountability of the CEO looking at his team and saying you will never be punished for missing an estimate. Now, given that I've declared that accountability to the team, I need one thing back from them. And that is, if they ever get in trouble against their estimate, to simply raise their hand and say, we're going to miss it. We, we guessed wrong. Now, why are they willing to do that? Because I've established a cultural component here that says we won't punish you if you go over. This is critically important. Now, who do they raise their hand to? They raise it to their project managers. They have to go to their project managers and say, hey, we're working on this eight-hour card. We're two hours in. And we suddenly realize that this is probably 16 hours worth of work, not eight. We've actually had to teach our project managers when they get that information to smile and say, thank you for sharing that bad news with me. Most organizations want to squish bad news out. <clears throat> and where does bad news go? It doesn't disappear. It goes underground. It results in quality issues, morale issues, uh, endless hours of overtime trying to meet these unrealistic expectations that were probably handed to you, not asked. Here, we teach our project managers to say thank you for sharing that bad information. And now we can start working on the, the nuts and bolts of why do you think it's going to go over? Did you? Do you understand what it is we're expecting? And if you do, great. Let's communicate to the client that this is probably going to go over and what do they want to do about it.